Asthma is a disease of the airway which involves inflammation and airway obstruction. The main symptoms include coughing, chest tightness, bronchial hyperreactivity, and other symptoms such as wheezing and shortness of breath. The main principle behind asthma is we have some kind of allergen which causes cellular activation in the airway which results in acute or chronic inflammatory processes and these occur through the action of cytokines, local cytokines and their mediators. Some of the provocative agents of asthma include sulfur dioxide, aspirin, propanolol, organic molecules, dust particles and animal danders. To go into slightly more depth regarding the actual pathophysiology of asthma, we have this allergen which causes activation of local inflammatory cells like mast cells or eosinophils. We then have mediators like leukotrienes, prostaglandins and histamine which cause the bronchial smooth muscle contraction, mucus hypersecretion, vasodilation and local edema. The epithelial lining of the airways also release inflammatory cytokines once they're activated. These cytokines, they're chemotactic, which means it invites or attracts more neutrophils and more eosinophils to migrate to the airways. And the effect of this is a magnifying effect. So the same processes we just mentioned previously are magnified because more neutrophils and more eosinophils and more inflammatory mediators are being brought into the airway because of this initial allergen response and the overall result causes damage to the airways. Long-term effects of asthma include tissue modeling and submucosal airway fibrosis and this is because of transforming growth factor beta, transforming growth factor alpha and fibroblast growth factor which is produced by the airway epithelium and macrophages in response to this chronic inflammation. So the overall effect is uh, fibrosis and this is what is happening in cases of chronic asthma.